Oily Cart Theater Company. Founded in 1981 by Tim Webb, Oily Cart has been taking its unique blend of theater to children and young people in schools and venues across the United Kingdom. Challenging accepted definitions of theater and audience, they create innovative, multi-sensory, and highly interactive productions for the very young and for young people with profound and multiple learning disabilities, young people on the autism spectrum disorder, and young people who are deaf-blind. By transforming everyday environments into colorful, tactile wonderlands, they invite audiences to join them on stage in a world of imagination, using hydrotherapy pools and trampolines, aromatherapy, video production, and puppetry, together with a vast array of multisensory techniques. Oily Cart creates original and highly specialized theater for young audiences. Oily Cart is committed to producing quality theater for audiences who are often neglected in terms of cultural activity, the very young and young people with complex needs and or who are on autism spectrum condition. There is nothing that thrills an audience quite like a great live theatrical performance. For more than 25 years, Oily Cart has been offering fun, non-traditional, and multi-sensory theatrical experiences for young audiences with disabilities. For each complex needs show, an independent academic evaluator undertakes an analysis of audience feedback from adults who have accompanied young people at a performance and compile their findings in multiple reports. Artistic director Tim Webb says the company mostly works with children who have profound and multi-learning disabilities, many of whom who are nonverbal or have mobility restrictions. According to Webb, no matter what the level of impairment or disability, if we have sufficient time and the right kind of space, then we can break through and communicate with one another that enables our audience to be a part of the theatrical world. It's kind of a hidden audience, says Webb, citing some of the logistical challenges of taking a group of young people with special needs to the theater. Whether that involves heavily motorized wheelchairs, medication, or when it comes to those with autism, fear of new places. We begin to see that there was a real need for this work. In the early years, says Webb, we became fascinated by it because you had to keep asking all of these questions. How do you make theater for someone who can't see? How do you make theater for someone who can't hear it? What about someone who can neither hear nor see? How do you make theater for someone who can't remember what happened at the beginning and is not anticipating the end? We like to explore the kinesthetic sense, the sense of the body has of its position in space. We've done shows with audiences in hammocks or in swing sets. Then we moved into the area of trampolines. Young people with really heavy load of impairment couldn't see, couldn't hear. Wheelchair users with cognitive delay really responded well to this. And we bounced them on the trampolines and, sang, trampolines and sang to them with perfume wafting across them. We would unfurl and sit upright, look around. They became more connected to the world around them. We've also used hydrotherapy pools and fans. These days, Webb does a lot of teaching, mentoring companies, workshops, because their approach to people with complex disabilities like autism is effective. Webb has been working with Chicago Children's Theater and also with a company in Moscow who are particularly interested in work that connects with people who are deafblind. Oily Cart has recently undergone a leadership change and restructure with the appointment of its first ever executive director, 
The company has named Ellie Griffiths as his new artistic director and Zoe Lally as executive director. Together, they will be joint chief executives sharing the responsibilities of running the company artistically and strategically. They replace co-founders Tim Webb, Max Reinhardt, and Claire Delon, who announced their departure earlier this year after more than 37 years. Griffiths has already worked with the company as a performer and directed the 2013-2016 production of Mirror Mirror. The theater company said she would bring her creative talents to the fore to build on the company's internationally renowned reputation as a trailblazer in the world of young people's theater. 